Fill thy shovels, boys and ladies. The Weekend Warriors are back in the cut. My name's Brett. Here I am. I'm Greg. I'm on the stick. Greg, you said you wanted to play Explodatorium last time. I did? Right. Yes, you did. Didn't I say I wanted to see you play it? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I'm sworn. playing the Iron Whale. Okay. You chose Expl You don't remember. You chose Explodatorium. Okay. So I'm going to play the Iron Whale, okay? All right. What's up? Wow. Aptly titled. This... I think this is one of the songs I like in the game a lot. I can't remember. This is a real good match for uh, for our <clears> shovel <throat> because everything's made of metal. How are we going to break through these things? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're worried. I'm I'm uh, always worried. <laughs> are you uh, you're a worry wart? I'm a wart? I'm a worried warrior wart. Worried warriors. Um. Do you think it's easy? Question of the day. Is it easy to tell that that's me in the intro? Because it is. Damn it! You're trying to see what you can get out of them shells, man? No, no, that's... Here we go, here we go. This will do it. Oh. There. Oh, yeah, this is the part you of the song I like. You had a plan this whole time. That's my jam. I don't think I've ever had this big of a problem with it. Doesn't look easy. Got Great him. work. Thank you. Here we go. Michael Bublas! Get shoveled. Oh, okay, I see. So your little green fireball can go through the dirt, but uh but I can't. Mm-hmm. Hold that. That's the benefit of being a crab. How do you like that? I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> As a 17-year-old kid or whatever the hell age I was when that movie came out, that that <laughs> moment in the film was like... Wait, I you were dying. not 17. How old were we? we? We were... When that movie came out, we were like 12. Is that right? Yeah. That's real. Maybe I didn't see it till a few years later. Yeah, I didn't see it till... I remember I, I didn't, didn't see it till see freshman year of high school. Uh-huh. Woo! 12, okay. That's, that feels right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See how the treasure floats? Love it. Treasure floats! Now! Whereas water previously killed us, now we can operate... Impunity. Leagues under the sea. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, and that's it. Greg, I'm letting you know something. What's up? I really want to get up there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you, man. So I'm gonna see if do you think we can do this way? If I go this way and then double back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your greed has rubbed off on, on me, Greg. Good. Good. We're going back. See now I know the sweet spot. Wow. Easy sneezy, baby. Do you relate to Will from Goodwill Hunting? Do I feel like an undervalued genius? Whew, that's an interesting assessment. Was Will, did Will feel undervalued? Well, he, I don't know. I don't know if he felt undervalued, but he, that's what he is, right? Ah, uh, I think. He's a janitor. Yeah, he is. I, I think his main thing is that he's, he's just fucking scared and angry. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah. I don't know about undervalued because it's not like he's like trying to oh yeah there it is but do you think I can get this oh I don't see you I don't see a path how about this oh what, my gosh what do you think of that that's genius I had no idea that was possible and now you know yeah but did you relate to him at all I think that, um, yeah, I think that uh, that was sort of part of the seduction of that film mm -hmm. is that we all fancy ourselves, uh -huh. a, you know, a hidden genius, a little mm -hmm. genius. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, uh, yeah, that was the appeal of this character, I think. I think. A little Holden Caulfieldy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh. 
What up, dog? Man, I gotta up my skills. Greg, he has a shield. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, these guys are tough. Yeah, they are. If I recall correctly, well, he also has like an anti-air move right there. Yeah, he's like a he's like a block. All right, coming through, boys. I'm not even worried about my life bar, man. Good, Good for you. Fucking killing it. Good for you. <clears throat> oh, oh, that was close. Not so fast. Hello. Uh oh, this is a new electric eel catfish. Don't they work for Ursula? They do. We're gonna be getting a lot more of Ursula soon, Brett. <laughs> do you Whether see what I see? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. Whoa, holy shit. I gotta be careful, because if I jump too high, I'll get spiked. You're doing a great job. All uh, right. Electric eels are one of the most exciting <sighs> creatures in God's kingdom. I know, right? They they're practically mutants. They have superpowers. They are mutants and so many obscure animals have superpowers that they're now starting to um consider splicing into other species to make them more X resistant, whether that's climate change or heat or to protect certain species. So, uh, can you give me an example? Um shit. They were talking about it on the radio the other day. Nice. Um, oh. Oh. Are you gonna come up here, dude? Are you? Are you? Mm. Okay, there later, man. Goes, the fading fish. <laughs> I, I forget exactly what it was, but it was like to use an example that probably isn't accurate. They were like talking about a certain kind of salmon that's like susceptible to a certain kind of um, disease or chemical. Okay. And then there is like some other fish that doesn't absorb said chemical, and they were talking about. Trying to splice those genes together, or I think so. My you know question what it was? is, I think it was a crop. Actually, I don't remember a crop. I understand that was my question. Is like, no, they're doing it with animals too. I that's can't. my question. Like, is is the salmon that you mentioned? Is the salmon really that like in a bad shape? Where, like, we need to protect it like that? Hello, it died somehow, Greg. Yes, yes. There are several species that are on the verge of uh, extinction. Oh my god, I feel like that's my fault. It's all of our faults, yes. I think I eat more salmon than most people, Greg. You know what I... I mean, look, to anyone who cares this much about salmon... Me, well, can I, I do. Tell you, okay, so... All of listen this. to what I learned about salmon recently. Mm-hmm. So I'm in my uh, hairdresser's place waiting for my $25 haircut, and... You pay $25 for your hair? I sure do, man. I sure do, which is a fucking steal. Really? Um, man, white people here is a racket. Well, because... <laughs> There's your quote of the day, by the way. <laughs> Get that sound clip, that shit. There, I guess there's there's um, difficult parts of the job, depending on in both cases, right? Yeah, but in yours, not really, because you use a straight razors. Oh edge, yeah, I do it bro. myself. Yeah, yeah. But if you're getting any kind of fade, that takes effort. And if you're keeping it yeah. long in any way, that takes effort. True, very true. And that's always the case with white people hair, or in my case, Armenian people hair, which is a little more wiry. You gotta, mm. you can't just let it flop all over the place. I understand what you're saying. So I pay 25, and I'm sitting down at the, the my in my waiting area, and there's a nice. stack of magazines, as there usually is, and there was some LA magazine or whatever that was talking about the state of various fish species as a result mm. of. Um, oceanic factors mm -hmm. and several of the fish species that we are used to eating have either had to be phased out of our diet mm. or we've had to find alternative sources which you know farming is one of those salmon they were saying okay has become so rare in the wild that they cannot fish it they, they cannot catch it in fall get the and, fuck out of here with season. that get they, the fuck out of here no, it's protected in fall and winter seasons they do not fish for it so wow you cannot get wild caught salmon in the fall or winter. If you are eating wild caught salmon in fall or winter, it is farm. And there's there I are see. lots of problems with farm salmon at large, which led me to ask the question, mm -hmm. what the hell have mm -hmm. I been eating? Yeah. When I go to sushi as I do probably once a week. Farmed, farmed, right? I assumed farmed. So I went to my first place and I said, hey man, 
to the sushi chef. I said, hey, I understand that this is the case with the seasonality of salmon. Mm -hmm. What are you serving me? <clears throat> and then he, he was, was like, like, surprise. No, he was like, what he said, this is what he said. I don't know if I believe him, but he's a very respected dude. <gasps> oh, Greg, it's the revenge of the salmon. Wow. You reveal our secrets. Wow. <laughs> Keep our name out your mouth. Oh my God. Ugh. Whoa. Nice work. No! Oh! You know what's wrong with me real quick? What's that? I, uh, I'm i not using the most, like my favorite item in the game right now. I didn't have it selected. I'm, I got that now though. That Which was? The phase locket, man. You remember the phase locket? Invincibility, bro. Yeah, it's really useful. And not just the invincibility, but also just like the little, the air pause. Uh -huh. It's invaluable. Uh-huh. So yeah, what did the chef say? So he said, yeah. He's like, you go to other places, they're going to be serving you that farm salmon, which I assume was bad. He's like, but in my case, I buy up all the salmon before end of season and I freeze it so that I can always be serving wild caught salmon. Can you help <laughs> us out in this case? I know, but it was a valiant <clears throat> effort. He freezes it, huh? He's like, I freeze the wild caught so that I'm serving wild caught all year round. So I leave that <clears throat> dining experience going, man, damn, that's A, commitment, B, must be a science, because you have to know like the volume you're serving for the next six months. That's got to be hard. Yeah. Are you overbuying? Are you underbuying? And then substituting? Anyway, so didn't totally make sense to me, but I bought it because this guy's respectful. Oh my oh. gosh. Am I talking too much? You're good. You're good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Oh shit. It's prime time. Give me that salmon. Delicious. <laughs> oh, okay. Gimme. Oh, that, a pearl? Yeah. All right. Everyone knows that fish fish are most vulnerable in their pearls. My pearls. Nice. What you got for me? I love the little mini explosions all over his, his all over his, his body area, yeah. Oh, what up, Chester? It's, it's very it's very Ninja Turtles on NES. Hmm. All right, so that's not the end of the story. Should we buy this anchor? What does it do? An unstoppable arc of destruction. Okay. All I right. like that he bows after he rips you off. <laughs> oh, there you go. See? A little Castlevania Oh, action. it's just like the uh, that night we were playing had. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's not the end of the salmon story. I will bring it to a close now when I say uh -huh. that it, I thought to myself, well, Sugarfish <clears throat> is a volume business. They can't be, there's no way they're buying wild caught and freezing it all year. Yet I love their salmon. It's some of my favorite Delicious. salmon on earth. So mm -hmm. I got brave. And the next time I went to Sugarfish where I was being served by a server that I that knows me and that I like, yeah. I said, hey man. And I didn't want to put her on defense and be like yeah Yo, you're what's with the salmon real? yeah no I is it legitimate so i started this way i said i love your salmon yeah so you you opened with that like salmon. like first off yeah thank so you for you what know you do the context of the question but i also mm. know that you can't get wild caught salmon this time of year where's your salmon from and she said oh it's farmed and i was like okay this is fine and she said it but it's from like a really good farm in i think she said uh Norway? There's some country that's known for farmed salmon. Like, that's what they do. And they do it really well. So, are you telling me that farmed salmon and wild salmon, they just taste different or something? Farmed salmon has a bad rap. Why? Because... No! Why? Why, fish? Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, I just... Okay. Listen, I'm sorry. I understand why. Because we're underwater. Like, the fish are behaving differently. Yeah. Because we're underwater this whole time. Yes. And I understand that now. Okay. Right. But I've been thrown off this whole level. <laughs> Wait, what was the behavior that surprised you just now? Like the fish is like floating away. Usually they just flop right next to you and you can collect them. Oh, sure. But this time I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense when you when you put it that way. Oh, my God. I'm so clean. What you going to do now? Oh. In there. Uh. Okay. You could just... I could just what, Greg? Fish them both, bro. You think I could... F I mean... Nicely done. I don't know if I can fish this one. 
you might be able to, what if you froze time, drop the anchor. <laughs> oh no! Why, why, Greg, why, why? <laughs> so look about that slow float down to peril. It's terrifying. We got this. Get out of here. What did Sonic used to say? Oh no. <laughs> he would say some stupid he went, shit. Was it, oh no, was it, no? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I used to laugh at that as a kid for sure. Okay, I, I think these are gone to us. Oh, yeah. God. Unless you can somehow lead him down. Do you think Bounce I can like his head? Will these work? Nope. <sighs> I'm Sadness. Gonna, All right. I'm gonna grab gone, this man. one and Sorry. that's it. You still got twenty five hundred. Yeah, there's still there's still plenty of this level left. Let's do what we can, huh? We're gonna make back that money! Wow, you came at him with the shovel and everything. Stupid ass manta rays. Actually, manta rays, you're beautiful. I'm sorry about what I said. Uh, They're but, like a beautiful animal, like aesthetically. But there's no but. But I'm gonna kill him. But I'm gonna kill him. We're still pissed about Steve Irwin, man. <laughs> All right. I wonder how many people. I, you know, away. people like really dumb people went out there and were like, "Oh yeah," and like, "Oh no," oh, you know they the did. Jaws effect. Oh, is that what happened? Right. Come on, people. How dumb do you have to be? How afraid? Look, there's so many, like, I feel like the vast majority, the vast majority of the atrocities in the world can be traced back to fear, right? Fucking bigotry, racism, all that shit comes from fear. Right. <clears throat> People were so afraid of Jaws that they were like, not me, not ever. <laughs> and you fucking to take control over the fear in their own lives by killing now in their defense. Great white sharks are killing machines. I mean, but they mean you no harm. They don't want to eat you. They, when sharks yeah. know that it's a person, they're not interested. Exactly. The only reason that they ever, I'm told, I'm told by whatever, the information I ingest, oh. that the only reason that they ever attack humans is because they mistake you for a seal. Yeah, I would assume so. So that's why best practice when attacked by a shark is always to shout. I'm a human being. Right. Here's my social security number. <laughs> yeah, shout your social security number. And the number. shark goes, oh, shit, my bad, dude. Right. Well, first he goes, I don't have one of those. What's that? And then he says, oh, you're a human being. You're human. Right. My bad. You swim poorly. You look like a wounded mammal, <laughs> like a wounded sea marine mammal. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, sorry about that. I can't believe people do that. I can't believe people are so like. I don't know what they did. I think it affected because a hu normal human being isn't putting on boxing gloves and diving into the ocean to beat up some <laughs> sharks. I think it was mostly fishermen that uh, just started catching them for sport or something. Oh my God, dude, you this level is that. perilous, man. I know. I'm really feeling good about the exploding. Mountain <laughs> yeah, or you may have chosen called. correctly. <clears throat> You told me before we started playing today that the game is going to get harder over time. It's true. And I didn't like that. Don't you want to be challenged? I, gu I guess. I should probably do this. I guess way. your appetite for challenge really determines so much, doesn't it? It really says a lot about you. Once again, I think it has to do with fear. I think most people would have a much healthier appetite for challenge if they weren't so afraid of failing. Once you realize that there's more to be gained in the free fall. Well, I like that. Let's go. That's what improv is, right, Brett? I don't know. Uh -oh, I'm not wait a minute. What are you talking about? It seems like all of improv, like. So. <gasps> nice. When it comes to just, I never did improv, really, seriously. But when it comes to uh, performance in general, like whether we were doing sketch stand up for the most part you have a script to depend on but there are those <clears> moments <throat> mm -hmm. before you start your set or when you forget your set or mm -hmm. when somebody interrupts it which i always felt worse were like i felt like free fall and in those moments mm -hmm. that's when some of the most fun stuff happens undoubtedly I'm not the first person to say this obviously yeah 
but to me, it always as an outsider looking into to improv, it always seems to me that the whole thing is free fall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's I the mean, def obviously you have your best practices and whatnot, but yeah, you. I mean, there are certainly things you can practice in improv, but yeah, the the fun is when you just allow you trust yourself to listen and react to your partners and yourself, right? And you just see what happens, right? So to have that, just yeah, the end of Zombie like Shakespeare. Only there was some kind of a locket that could what raise us. No, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm oh, not I being a sarcastic, being sarcastic asshole. No, no, no. If only there were a locket. If only there was another locket of a different color. What, like a raise locket? Yeah, mm. like a float your ass up locket. <gasps> you know, <laughs> should no matter how hard. Fuck that guy, this, stupid ass crawdad or whatever you are. I hate him. This, this is really a muscle confusion level because they're. They teach you you can float, and then they drop the bottom out. I'll tell you what we can do right here, though. Well done, man. All right. That skull came up, too. I don't know what that was about. That was a skull again? Oh. The skull came up, yeah. Man. Oh, God. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I saw that movie in Spanish the other day, like a scene from it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That was we're funny. About, we're talking about The Ringer? Yeah, The Ringer. And you saw a scene from it. Yeah. And In which Espanol. scene was it? Uh, you do talk different. Ooh. And he says, si, hablo es diferente. Oh, creo que sí. Nice. Oh, I think I fucked up. I just, okay, hold on. Um, oh, oh, wow. Oh! You see that recovery? That was really well done. Oh, I, I see how wanna, you're doing in here. I don't want to gloss over that. Do you think um, I could kill those guys if I had the thing? I use that exact weapon. Well, he can't even reach him, so fuck it. Yeah. I got a friend doing some voiceover work for Netflix shows. Oh, fun. And they bring him in to do um, the English dub on Spanish language films. Uh, Okay, got it. And he's got a great voice. He's a handsome guy, and it, it you can hear it in his voice. And uh, what he does, man, so he'll do like three, four different characters. Mm hmm uh, and they will pick the characters who are like, they'll pick like a main character, supporting character, and like two extras. All someone right. who shouts like, get off the train or whatever. All right. And he says what he does is he listens to the actor, the Spanish language oh, okay. actor, and he tries to do an impression of them. That's dedication. Isn't a lot of people great? wouldn't even do that. Yeah, Isn't that's that great. Fantastic? I think that's wonderful. A little pro tip for y'all doing that voiceover work. <laughs> for those of you doing voice work, do your fucking job. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I don't know anything about voiceover work. But I learned a little bit about it over the course of the five minute conversation with this guy. Oh. I thought it was genius. Check this out. You ready? Wow. You knew immediately what you had to do. Well, I I mean I've played through this game before, but I just remember you that remember that, that moment is cool, you know? That is very cool. I like the sort of Sahara like ocean floor in the back. Mm hmm Look at that. Oh shit. Okay, we need a voice for this guy. Treasure Knight? Uh you got anything? No. <laughs> I don't know. What would treasure night sound like? Well, let's look at the let's look at the my dialogue. gems, my vessel, my ocean. Your very presence tarnishes. That's you. You got this one. Yeah, but then they said it was like Lovitz. I'll give it another Lovitz. <laughs> Who said it was like Lovitz? <laughs> the comments were like they're all Lovitz from. Greg. Then do it. No, you were doing right. like a Dudley Do Right. So let I me have it. I was trying to do a Dudley Do Right. Let's see if I have it in me. Um, you are, you are to. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds. Treasure Knight. There you go. Uh, how about your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avarice. Let us <laughs> duel. Winner take all. I was trying to do like, like a, like a nebbish pro wrestler. Very good. What's up, dude? Let's finish this. I like your theme song. Cause he's kind of got like a pro wrestler vibe to me. He looks like the Shockmaster. Have I ever shown you the Shockmaster video? Uh, no, man. Man, I gotta show you the Shockmaster. But that Master. is a good call. That is a good call. That he looks like a pro wrestler? Yeah, and taking cues from that, from his physique. You're not gonna suck me in. Okay, maybe, maybe you're gonna suck. There you go. This guy's got a real... A real headache? Has he got a real headache, Greg? 
<laughs> Nicely done. He had a real gimmick going there for a while. The anti-gravity chest. That was pretty cool. Or gra rather, gravity chest. The gravity chest. The gravity chest. Yeah. Have a night night. That was beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> Only you. Well done. Uh, and that'll do it. Thanks for watching us take down the Iron Whale this time on Weekend Warriors. Next time, I'm going to stop by Town Bree. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like we can't even get back to town until we stop that impediment. But I'm not going to do it. My man Gregums is going to do it. I'm going to try. And I'm going to try to do it all in one episode like my big bro here did. Oh, no. Don't do that to yourself. And if I don't, I'm going to hang my head low. Oh, my God. Look at how... <laughs> he was like, you know what? As we end this episode, I'm going to put all this pressure on myself. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. See you Hopefully. then. They really rewired our brain, man. Oh yeah, I have no patience for things arriving now. If it can't, if I can't get it within three days, I don't want it. You're pissed off. I'm indignant. I don't even want the motherfucker.